Okay, here we go. Big top show. Bear Jackson, let's go. And welcome to the circus, Bear Jackson. It's as much a county fair as it is a car auction. Absolutely insane every single time I walk in here. But let's get out to the cars where the fun really is. And here we are in the main arena of the auction. And what an arena it is. Look at all these freaking people from all over the world out here to watch cars sell at auction here at Barrett Jackson. Now I'm wandering around through the uh, area where the cars are coming in for sale. Uh, this is a bidders only area, this particular spot. Um, but it's uh, pretty fun to see the uh, cars that are lined up and ready to roll. Uh, beautiful microbus here. That one ended up going through and selling for, uh, gosh, I think it was around 120 grand at the end. Uh, in any case, lots of cool stuff, modern exotics, trucks, all sorts of things. And then back inside the salon, you can buy giant metal cactuses and you can buy trees that light up and beds and who knows what all. I will say this guy doesn't look excited about selling beds. Um, big sculptures. I mean, this really is the county fair. You can buy yourself a boat. You can buy yourself a freaking helicopter. It is a showroom for extreme expenses and goofy things. Um, I don't imagine they sold a whole lot of helicopters there at Baron Jackson, but it was pretty fun to see one there. Uh, some wild off-road uh, bug out vehicles and then of course on to the cars that are being auctioned. So they've got several tents around the property that are set up with cars for sale. Uh, all sorts of strange stuff as well like everybody needs horses made of fiberglass. Um, and quite a few of these cars are already sold. Now I arrived here this was uh, Friday of the auction and uh, the auction obviously started a few days prior. So you can see what cars sold for. The C10 truck sold for $100,000. Here's another one here that sold for $97,000. Big money for trucks these years. Truly insane. And these guys were the cheap ones of the bunch, if you can imagine it. Uh, lots of Corvettes lined up. All sorts of American muscle cars. There's some sports cars and stuff as well. I'd say primarily the cars that are at the auction are American made stuff. Uh, everything from the 50s Buicks and 57 Chevys to uh, everything in between. Let's see what this went for. 150 grand. Uh, Christine was there up for grabs. I don't think this was actually a film used car, but it was a beautifully restored example with the Christine details on it. Absolutely love that movie and love this car. Let's see what somebody paid for this. $160,000. Uh, back to the big truck lineup. A bunch of 4x4 uh, C10s and other assorted things. 70 Charger, badass Bronco. Uh, here's another nice Charger. And here's another 21 window bus. This one, let's see what that sold for. Fifty-five grand. Ouch. That guy really took it short on that. So there are some deals to be had. Uh, this was a Barris built car for the, uh, it's based on an AMX. It was used in a TV show called Banachek. Uh, kind of a neat car with neat history. I remember seeing that uh, back in the day. Uh, cool kind of gasser drag looking uh, cougar there. Some really impressive builds. I've got to say, I'm not a, uh, a muscle car guy or a pro touring, you know, resto mod dude, but the cars that were there were pretty impressive when it comes down to the quality of the restorations and really what all was done. Now, I'm more attracted to weird freak show stuff like this. This Mercedes microbus was really a cool piece. I've actually seen photos of this thing before, but it's the first chance I've had to see it up close. Talk about a macro bus. This thing is a monster. I love it. Lots of room to haul your friends around. And this went through the auction while I was there, and I think I've got footage of that to share with you. 
that giant Mercedes bus. Back to C10 row. Here's another one here. Let's do $150,000 for a pickup truck. What on earth are these guys smoking? Although I will say this one was damn pretty. I kind of prefer the GMC over the Chevy myself. Uh, outside in the uh, smaller tents are some of the cheaper vehicles and it's kind of fun to wander through the rows and rows of those. Uh, and many of these cars have gone through earlier in the day, smob, uh, or earlier in the week so you can kind of see what things went for. Uh, this scooter sidecar combo is really super cool. This is a Zundap Bella scooter. I actually had one of these back in the day. It's a pretty rare German scooter and this thing was stellar. Beautiful, beautiful setup. Anyway, back to the lineup. Uh, more like aging modern luxury cars. Quite a few of those go through. And there may be some opportunities to grab some deals on those sort of cars um, if people aren't uh, paying attention. Uh, here we go. What do we got? Smob. Okay. Uh, Ford Pino with wood clad on the sides. Bring it on. $14,500 for this low mile Pinto Country Squire wagon. Uh, definitely mundane and icky and very cool in its own right. Uh, this 53 Chevy was actually a really beautiful survivor car. I was really impressed with the condition of this and it sold for $11,000. What a freaking bargain. The interior in this thing was beautiful. The paint appeared to be all original, low original miles on it. Yeah, it's a four-door, but great car, great color, and a great deal. Uh, big old Buick here. What did this one go for? $14,000. What a deal. Uh, this is another car from this Boyd collection of 56 Ford wagon. What did this one sell for? Let's get in close. 124,000? No. Outside, this was probably the most American thing I've ever seen. This monster truck airbrushed with insane uh, scenery and stuff on it. Sold for $140,000. Big blower sticking out of the hood. Cadillac Escalade front end. And it was hauled there in this totally insane semi truck. Fully airbrushed truck and trailer. Gotta love this workmanship, it's totally nuts. Uh, wild, wild. I don't know what would possess somebody to do it, but I definitely applaud the effort that went into it. It really, really was an impressive piece. I don't know what it ended up selling for or who bought it or what on earth you'd do with it if you did. But wow, see me rolling. Totally insane. All right, back to the tents here. Loved this Willys Americar. Uh, hot rod there, very traditional. Lots of American machinery out there as well as you can see. Camaros and Blazers and Chevelles and Pontiacs and oh damn just about everything. Even an international truck lined up there. Uh, lots of people walking about. Here's another bus. This is actually a Brazilian bus converted to a 23 window. It was kind of cool looking definitely. Uh, what did it go for? Mm, has not sold yet, so it'll be interesting to see what this one rolls through. Will it bring what the German models do? Uh, all right, more walk around. I was really taken by this Model T Speedster. It sold for ten thousand bucks, which I think was an absolute smoking deal. It was well done, super cool, had neat spoke wheels on it, lots of cool accessories. It was really quite clean. The monocle windshield and everything, bargain. This little bug eye sprite, 40 grand. That's all the money and more for that. I think the seller did very well on that cool little car. Uh, let's see, BMW Izetta. Uh, that one had not run through. Uh, here's a really cool Ford uh, wagon with a matching camper trailer. And the top of that trailer comes off and is a boat. I forget the manufacturer of this particular uh, thing, but it is super rad, and I love the way it was painted to match the car. Alrighty. Uh, the Lightning McQueen, ka -chow. Uh Really badly done, but super fun little McQueen replica there. $13,000, probably made some kid very happy. Uh, Porsche Boxster, similar to what I drove out to the event, 11.5. Not bad for a Boxster with some miles on it. 
absolutely love this 55 Chevy Gasser shag nasty look at this metal flake paint job I really wish this thing was sitting out in the Sun so you can see that flake sparkle it was a beautiful beautiful paint job on the car that thing sold for forty seven thousand dollars and I think that was really a pretty killer deal considering the amount of work that went into making this car what it is here today all right, another bus, another Brazilian bus with goofy bumpers on it, things like that. Uh, there has been definitely a flow of these cars coming in from Brazil. Some of them are nicely done, some of them are poorly restored, but you've got to look super close to the bottoms of these things, and rarely are they done at a level that is equal to the uh, American restorers or German restoration. 65 grand that brought and that real 21 inside went for $11,000 less. This I thought was a great deal, $54,000 for a 33 Auburn Phaeton. This shows what is happening to the pre-war market. Stuff is dropping in value. Uh, the people that are interested in those cars just aren't around anymore. Love this double cab, beautifully done. Mild custom, very similar to one that I had back in the 80s and it sold for $68,000. Pretty solid money for that truck. Speaking of trucks, this good humor Chevy right here was really fun. $130,000 this thing brought. It was beautifully restored, but again, minimal use. What do you do with that? Unless you're serving ice cream to all your buddies, but the good humor man was happy about it. Here's a heck of a deal right here, $36,000 for this custom Ford Roadster. Beautifully done, modern style hot rod, you know, fiberglass body of course, but you know, you could never build this car for that kind of dough. Another great deal on a rod here, this one went for $27,000. Now this was an all steel body Model A Ford hot rod and modern upgrades as far as the mechanicals it was beautifully done and i really think that was a great deal crazy cool 50s boat out here uh, this thing was really fun check out these tail fins tail fins on a boat gotta have it and that mercury motor was pretty awesome as well food yes of course this is the county fair and you can get anything you want on a stick it is uh, definitely a crazy thing, but I did imbibe with a beer and a brat and then got back to the auctions. This thing was totally insane. Probably one of the wildest uh, custom hot rods I've seen with this uh, tanker truck set up and the Model A front. Really well detailed and it sold quite strong, I will say. Uh, the beer garden, of course, full of people beering. It is really a fun place to come and hang out with your friends, watch the auction, see all the things that are happening. Now, back in the showroom here, watching the auction happen. God bless America. This is Merritt Jackson Westworld. And uh, it's fun to watch these people spend their money. What does this thing go for? $110,000. Come on, come on, come on. Now, the energy from the auctioneer's ramble is really pretty incredible. It's fun to watch, fun to be a part of. Uh, they move quite fast. Uh, here's that crazy hot rod that was out there with the uh, tanker truck trailer on it. Love the chassis cam so you can see the details. It was interesting that this thing actually had a Nissan motor in it. I do think that might have kept the value down a little bit, but still, check it out. It is climbing up there. Hundred twenty-five thousand, hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Wow. Holy mackerel. 
A hundred and sixty thousand dollars, hundred and sixty five thousand dollars. That seems like each car they spend about two minutes on, maybe a little bit longer if it's something super special. Whoa, $175,000, $180,000. When is this thing going to stop? This is creeping up to $200,000. Oh. $192,000. Now keep in mind that this also has a bidder's premium on top of it. Um, these cars were on display. They had a contest there for custom car builders. Here's a few of the um, amazing cars that were there in the Barrett-Jackson Cup. Insane level of build on these things. Uh, fun to see those cars and that was kind of away from the auction action so it wasn't quite as obnoxious. Uh, more stuff out in the uh, arena, which is just to the side there. A lot more C10 trucks that had sold. 135 grand for this Blazer. <sighs> just insane. Broncos, Broncos, Broncos. What did this one roll for? $130,000. So many six-figure trucks. It it's hard for me to imagine those things selling for that kind of money. We buy this E-Type Jag for $87,000. Um, and I'd much rather have the Jag, personally, but, but obviously this isn't the crowd of people that are like me. You know, I mock my Mustang, not my style, beautiful car, what did it go for? Mm, can't see it, oh well. Now this was really killer, this Camaro was done with a very unique look to it. I uh, loved this deep scoop on the hood, I thought that was a really neat look, great colors. Lots of modern details and stuff, and just really a badass street racer kind of a car. Sold for $180,000. Uh, this Cobra was done kind of in a similar way. I thought it was really obnoxious personally, but at $220,000, somebody seemed to uh, fall deeply in love with this thing. And I hope they're out there tearing it up. Now this C-Type replica is actually one that was built by Nick Mason of Pink Floyd and his crew. Uh, it sold for $95,000 and this is a car that raced in the La Carrera Panamericana race so it is a legitimate drivable race car and uh, I thought that was well bought. I have no idea what this is but it certainly looks like fun. Uh, here's a really killer Grand Sport style custom uh, vet. Check out those louvers, that crazy hood. What did this go for? 60 grand? That seems like a gift in comparison to some of these other numbers. I mean, this thing was absolutely wicked. Damn, 60 grand. Bargain. All right, Back to the Future replica here. Beautifully done car, $110,000 at the hammer. Uh, this is not a film used car, but it was done very accurately. Had all the cool stuff on it, ready to blast off. And of course, on the inside, it had the flux capacitor, which, of course, any good time she needs. Back to the block, more C10 trucks. It is cranking up here, $130,000, $125,000 for this blazer. I mean, come on now. $125,000. Hey, Bert, what's happening? See, you brought the bandit. Thanks for coming. Let's see what you go for. So after that, I called it a night. I decided to go on out to the parking lot. It was getting late, and as you can see, I was one of the last ones there in the lot. And I will follow up with day two, of course, Super Saturday of Barrett Jackson in another video. I hope you enjoyed watching my Friday walk around of the sale. Please subscribe if you haven't and uh, watch for part two of Barrett Jackson 2024. Bye bye.